Hi guys, welcome back to Rev Solutions. Today I'm going to show you what the Z4 is like for its handling capabilities. This is a fantastic car for sub £3,000. It handles perfectly, it's on the road, it's a completely standard suspension setup, standard wheels, nothing, there's nothing that has been done to this car. So join me and let's get on the road and I'll show you what it's like handling. Alright, frustratingly, it's actually just started raining. So, you buy a BMW Z4, you want to enjoy it, you want to see what it's like handling wise. Now, it is a fantastic car. It is so well balanced, there's almost like no body roll in the suspension at all. It's just, it is really set up for a driver's experience. It's a proper driving car. The tracking on this one, it will definitely need uh, revisiting. I'll need that sorted, because it does tug left and right slightly, goes with the deviations of the road, which is very annoying. But even still, that said, for a basic car that doesn't cost a lot of money, it's unbelievable. It really, it's the best handling car I've ever owned. And I've owned, what we're looking about, 17 cars in nearly 19 years worth of driving. And I've owned a Nissan S14, I've owned a Honda Civic Coupe, well actually I've owned two Nissan S14s, they're brilliant cars. But, I mean this, for what it is, is unbelievable. It's just so well planted. BMW really hit the nail on the head with this car. Now I will really look forward to taking this on a test track. We'll say a test track, taking it on a uh, a track, be it the Goodwood, Bedford Aerodrome, somewhere interesting. Traction control kicks on then, just when the uh, wheels dipped into the mud. But it just, it does inspire confidence as long as you're comfortable with your own abilities at driving. I don't condone people going around racing around, but a uh, fly tippers, absolutely detest fly tippers. Look at that, in the middle of the road, vile creatures. Well, that is a lot of rain coming over. So hopefully we can uh, try and escape it a little bit. But if you just want to drive to the conditions of the road, you're not pushing it, you're not driving dangerously. The Z4, it's phenomenal. The gears are really smooth in this. Never had any issues with the gearbox. It just, it, the whole package of the Z4 is phenomenal. Now, I know there's gonna be other cars out there for similar price they can handle just as well. Mazda MX-5, that's a good little car. But it hasn't got the style of the Z4. The Z4 just screams, it's got class, it, it looks good. And it can put the power down nicely and it can really handle what you, what you push it through. Now I will really put this car through its paces when I get to Goodwood in a couple of months time do some lap time, see what see what the car comes up with. But already, this handles really nice. It's a light car. I mean, it, it weighs just over 1,200 kilograms. And at the moment, I've got a quarter of a tank of fuel. And it's just pulling it around really well. quite a sharp corner so get all your speed off go around it with caution and I'm gonna have to put the roof up in a minute so let's park up just over here let's get that roof up now in order to do that I'm gonna have to take the 360 camera off because the 360 camera doesn't sit with the roof up so let's see if I've got the roof working so she's struggling it is struggling it's coming up slowly it's 
getting there. It is definitely, definitely struggling and it's given up. It's given up the ghost at that point. So I turn the ignition off, turn it back on and get it. No, it still doesn't want to, still doesn't want to come up. All right, let's turn that ignition off again. Oh. And there we go. So the BMW Z4 is a absolutely phenomenal car to drive. It just, it, it handles unbelievable. I know I keep repeating myself, but I, I don't know what more I can say about this car. There are probably things you can do to this car to make it handle a lot better. Um, but from factory, BMW have made a phenomenal handling car. I mean, it, it just, it's brilliant. Thank you for watching Revolutions. Please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, take care, see you soon.